Hello students. So today we will start a new unit that is on the voltage compensation using dynamic voltage restorer. In the previous class we have learnt how to compensate any unbalance and harmonic load with the help of the compensator or you can say power electronics based controller and the steps involved were first to find out the reference currents using some formulations some algorithm and then track them using the power circuit the same concept are applicable here the first we have to find the reference dvr voltage and then we have to compensate by a power circuit okay so we'll start today with this section that is the voltage compensation using dynamic voltage restorer now you may ask why dvr or dynamic voltage restorer why not other devices well we use different devices for the voltage compensation and these devices as you know are known by different names for example you may have a sund capacitor so i will just put down here the different units or different methods which are used to compensate the load okay the one of the most important method used to compensate or regulate the voltage is series capacitor then we have sund capacitors okay, we can also use sund capacitors to improve the voltage in the power network then we may have synchronous capacitor which is called synchronous condensers and we may also have tap changing transformers in which we just change the setting of the transformer to give the output voltage this is called tap changing transformer Okay, then there are flex devices called SQC, or this is called static synchronous series capacitor. Okay, and we may also use. the active power filtering based compensator called dbr or dynamic voltage restorer more or less these devices are basically passive devices synchronous capacitor is the synchronous machine which is used in over excited or under excitation mode to realize either the inductance or the capacitance action of the synchronous machine okay series capacitor you know sun capacitors they are basically flex devices passive filters which can improve the 
voltage by injecting the reactive power and tap changing transformer is a very common where we can change the taps to maintain the secondary voltage as cube c again is a fax devices which can be used to improve the voltage by using the a voltage source inverter and making it to behave like a capacitance we will focus on dvr today as one of the active power filter which can be used to compensate the voltage now as you know that dvr performs a complementary function to that of the d state com while d state com compensates the current by connecting it in sunt with the load okay and dvr compensates the voltage by injecting a series voltage or a voltage in series voltage in series with the load to maintain the nominal voltage at the load bus clear and this should come injects the current at the point of common coupling at the pcc in sunt with the load so as if they perform the dual functions okay the d state com does for current and dvr does for the voltage more or less the concepts involves are same that first we have to find the reference value of the voltages which need to be injected and second how we can make them in a real circuit in a power circuit level by employing the power electronic device okay now we will go the another important point that what is the concept of dvr and how it is used to regulate the voltage so for that i will take one figure and that figure will be useful to understand uh, the concept of the dvr okay so i will just take this this figure here and drag it the other place okay now you see this diagram and try to will try to understand how it functions so you can see it here the same concept that this is the voltage source here okay which is supplying a load 
connected at the load side this is the load bus and the voltage is called bl okay so bl represents the load voltage correct and there is a terminal bus here bt okay so bt denotes for terminal voltage and there is another voltage bus voltage okay bs here so bs denotes for the source voltage one more is there it is called dbr voltage so this is actually dbr voltage bf because we are injecting the voltage bf okay so we have one more voltage bf or filter voltage or dbr voltage okay so in this simple circuit we have four voltages source voltages source voltage here and this is the terminal voltage this is the dbr voltage this is the load voltage correct and the current which is flowing into the circuit is basically called load current so this is the load current which is also source current so is is same as il that fine so il is same as is therefore source current and the load currents are same we will write down here so il equal to is because it is a series circuit so it does not make any difference in current and what is this this is the feeder impedance okay the feeder impedance has a resistance of so you can call it feeder or distribution network or transmission network if you wanted to say so feeder impedance is denoted by zs which is sum of rs and xs if the frequency is fundamental it is xs otherwise n into xs so where is dbr the dbr is here okay this is dbr what it does this is injecting a voltage in series bf this is the voltage in series so you can see we are injecting voltage bf in series we have taken polarity of negative to positive which means we have aligned to the source voltage which is also negative and positive here okay so this is an ideal voltage source this is an ideal voltage source corresponding to the dbr now as i said a compensator a d state com is kind of a ideal current source because it injects the current similarly a dbr is kind of a ideal voltage source so we can always represent a dbr by a ideal voltage source in series with the load or source clear now this is a single line diagram you may have a three phase equivalent circuit for power system okay so for three phase equivalent what we do we just take the three phase version of this and we try to understand the three phase equivalent so there is no difference in three phase and single phase except that in three phase system we have three such 
units. So this is phase A here. This is for phase A. You can say R. This is phase B. And this is phase C. So each phase has its a DVR. So each phase has a DVR. This is one phase DVR. Then this is second phase. And this is third phase. So B inject voltage BFA, BFB and BFC. Okay. These voltages are injected for three phase. To maintain BLA and BLV and BLC to be balanced and sinusoidal waveforms with fundamental component only without any harmonics. So what is our objective? That BLA and BLB and BLC okay, BLA, BLB and BLC they must remain balanced sinusoidal waveforms okay irrespective of source and load conditions This is the objective. How? By injecting BFA, BFE, BFC, we have to maintain the BLA, BLV, and BLC. Okay. So you have seen the single phase equivalent, and you have a three phase equivalent. Now you may ask that, well, I can represent a DVR by three phase voltage source that is clear here actually. Okay. So you can see it here as well that this is the three phase uh, voltage of the DVR and we have represented them by an ideal voltage source. But in practice, how do we realize these voltage source? This is the same question when we ask in case of the D-state com, how we do realize the current, ideal current source. Of course, by using the voltage source inverter and asking it to track the reference current. Similarly, we will have some power circuit, asking it to track some reference value of the voltages. Okay. So what is that circuit? So what the equivalent physical circuit for this voltage source BFA, BFP, BFC? How this is being realized in actual circuit? Okay. This is BFA, this is BFP, this is BFC. So I can say this is BFA, BFB and BFC. Okay, these are being realized using the power circuit. So we will try to review the components of this power circuit and explain that method. Okay, so this is the actual circuit of the DVR. Okay, now what this 
consist of the components of this DVR are as following number one it has a voltage source inverter you can see it here this is the voltage source inverter BSI okay so we have a voltage source inverter as a part of the DVR okay second we have filter capacitor and inductor so filter components which are filter components here this inductance and this capacitance okay here or this capacitance they form the filter component so this component and this component okay they form the filter components then we have also the injection transformer so we do have injection transformer okay so in this figure where is the injection transformer injection transformer is here this is a injection transformer okay it injects voltage through the secondary of the transformer in series which is in series with the load and the source in the line with the source and load so this transformer provides the injection of the voltage so primary we inject voltage the secondary is being placed in line with the load and the fourth important factor of element of this is a DC storage system or DC capacitors you can call it DC storage system this is similar to our DC link voltage or DC link of the inverter this forms a DC link here so this is the DC link here okay it is similar structure except that now we have a transformer at the output stage and which is whose secondary is connected in series with the load okay so these are the important components or elements of the TBR when we have three phase circuit it will have three phase equivalent okay each circuit will be for each phase so this circuit will be for each phase all right so we have understood the representation of dvr and what is inside the dvr okay we have a kind of a inverter circuit supported by dc link here and then we have a interface components like inductance and capacitance through the coupling or injection transformer we see an important element called filter capacitor cf this is very important this component was not very important in case of the current compensation because in the current compensation we were shaping the current and to shape the current we need inductance interface inductance here we want to shape the voltage when we switch the inverter the inverter generates the on off pulses at the primary side which are being reproduced at the secondary side and if these pulses are not shaped properly they will not provide the ideal compensation or practical compensation schemes so therefore we need to shape the voltage which is being produced by 
the secondary of the transformer and that is being done by the inductance of transformer and the capacitance of and the capacitance of this system cf so i would say lf cf are filter components which have to be designed in such a way that they give the desired shaping characteristic of the voltage to be injected this area is another area of research where you can look into that that how to design this filter component so that the shaping is proper whatever you have reference voltages they are being generated in series with the load okay there's an entirely different work here you must remember that there are filter components which do this job okay fine now let us come back again to the basic concept that what is the basic what is the operation what is the operating principle of this dvr we have understood the representation and the practical circuit for the dvr now we will see that what is the basic idea and how does the dvr operates okay as you know in previous classes also that a dvr is a active power filter and it should not consume any active power for its operation except some losses the losses that is being uh, produced because of the switching of the inverter the filter components have some resistance so because of that there are some losses you can call it inverter losses switching losses plus component losses and these have to be replenished from the source by some mechanism so that the dc voltage is maintained at certain value and that gives the satisfactory compensating characteristics all right so with this we will try to understand the operating principle of the of the dvr okay we will draw once more a circuit diagram so that it is more clear that what it consists of so we will take this voltage source bs so this is bs here okay and then we have the feeder resistance and the inductance which is rs this is j axis and this goes to the terminal bus bt this is bs here this is bs and then we have the dvr here okay so this is dvr i will take polarity like minus plus as if it is voltage source this is bf and this bf is being taken further at the load bus so this is bl and this bl goes to the load okay this is the load and load goes back to the source okay this is bs and the current which is flowing into this is is dvr is here so this is the dvr component okay this is the source component this is the source component and this side is the load
Now, we will write the Kirchhoff voltage law for this circuit. Okay, what is that? This is voltage rise, so minus Bs plus Rs plus J axis into Is. Okay, you can write in a, a phasor domain because only one frequency is being involved right now here. So there is no issue. We can use the phasor domain for this. So it could be Bs. and IS. IS is also same as IL. Okay. So this is drop here. Then this is another rise. So this is minus BF. This must be equal to BL. And what is BL? BL nothing but IL or IS into ZL. If I take the fundamental quantity, a passive load called ZL, which is equal to some RL plus JXL. Okay, so this is the most uh, basic equation. We can also replace this current by IL because load current is is what is coming from the load side. So it is better to call it I L both sides. Okay. Or we can also write therefore B S plus B F equal to Z S here from this side. This is and plus ZL okay so this has to be equal to ZL actually it's not equal to BL it has to be like this that this must be equal to plus BL must be equal to zero. This is the equation actually. Because BL is here. And which means that this is nothing but what is BL? BL is IL into ZL. So this becomes ZS plus ZL into IL. Okay. So we can further simplify in terms of the some more components but the whole idea is that that we have to find BF for certain condition of the load voltage for example if we have to find that B L has to be equal to BS let us say so it becomes here ZS into IL plus ZL into IL now this is same as BL and if we miss that let the BL equal to BS that is it has the same as the source voltage the load voltage is same as the source voltage if the load voltage is same as the source voltage perhaps we want to maintain the same phase angle and same magnitude then this will go away with this and therefore the BF must be equal to ZS into IL okay and what is ZS as you know this is RS plus AXS and what is IL IL is nothing but BL by ZL so this becomes ZS by BL by RL plus JXL or you can say 
this is z s by z l into b l this is b f okay this is simple example to find out the value of filter voltage or dvr voltage in terms of the system parameters mostly the source impedance and the for the given load voltage and the load impedance these parameters okay where vl is maintained as 1.0 per unit let us say reference voltage okay so this is the one equation another way of writing this equation vs here is this that we can write this equation as vs equal to bl load voltage plus drop so we have a i rs plus j xs i l or simply i and we can take bf on this side so minus bf okay or we can write this as bl plus i l r s then we have a minus bf minus j xs i l this equation will be very helpful in the coming discussions because we have found kind of a term like bf okay in conjunction with the j axis il it seems as if the reactive part the reactive drop associated with the il and axis and bf has some relationship with this okay so we will use this equation in the next lecture or next discussion so what we see kind of a our uh, discussion here that we have to find the filter voltage pf or dvr voltage for a given system parameters let us try to understand this with the help of a simple example okay where we have to find out the feasibility of the dvr injected voltage for different conditions of the load impedance and the filter impedance so this is example 6.1 in your nptel book we will complete this and we'll continue in the next class up to this example in the example we have to find out the feasibility of dvr injected voltage okay whether it is possible or not of dvr for following conditions number 1 is we have a system just i have drawn my diagram earlier and in their system there are two conditions number one the line resistance is negligible so line resistance is negligible that is rl equal to uh, rs equal to 0 this is rs so this is rs zero or we can say the feeder is purely reactive purely reactive feeder 
second condition is that when the load is purely resistive when the load is purely resistive okay so in the first case what we are giving that zs is j 0.25 per unit taken per unit and zl is 0.5 plus j 0.25 per unit this is the load in second case zs is 0.45 plus j 0.25 but z l is purely resistive means 0.5 per unit consider bl 1.0 after compensation okay so what is the first step the first step is calculate without dbr and with dbr okay so let us start for this section here a section and find out the requisite value of filter voltage to be compensated for this particular situation so what we will do first let us find out what is the voltage without any compensation and then we find out the compensation okay so let us find out current first so let us say i l equal to b s by total impedance first case zl plus zs this becomes 1.0 angle of 0 divided by this is 0.5 plus j 0.5 and this becomes 1.412 angle of minus 45 degree per unit this is the current therefore bl for a given nominal voltage at the load uh, source bus remember i have taken source voltage as 1.0 angle of 0 now source voltage is a nominal voltage okay and because of that there is some current is flowing for a given load and the current has some magnitude and phase angle this current causes a drop across the feeder and finally it gives different value of bl so what is bl the bl is equal to nothing but bs minus i l into zs okay and this is 1.0 angle of 0 minus zl i l or you can say this is also equal to i l into zl okay so if you solve this you already know the current 1.412 and you know zs zs is basically j here in particular this case if you take the value of the impedance in the beginning without anything is j 0.25 angle of minus 45 if we solve this okay both give same value and the value is basically 0.79 0.79 angle of minus 18 0.843 as you see this voltage is quite small 0.79 almost 21 percentage reduction 
in the voltage which may not be acceptable for the load to which it is supply is connected okay this is very small voltage almost 21 percent reduction in the voltage magnitude so what to do we have to compensate we have to add some voltage in series so that this voltage becomes 1.0 in magnitude okay so let us say the new voltage bl equal to 1.0 angle of zero okay so write the same equation which we have done earlier for the single line diagram so as you know the equation is nothing but bs bs plus bf equal to i into okay rs plus j axis the drop across the feeder along the feeder and equal to bl now we wish that bl is same as bs okay bl is same as bs which is 1.0 angle of zero per unit that means the bf has to be equal to i into rs plus j axis il i is same as il okay and what is il il is nothing but bly and bl is the new value of bl which is 1.0 angle of 0 and jl you already know 0 0.25 Okay, so this is nothing but Rs plus J axis into IL is here nothing but 1.0 angle of 0 and this is ZL 0 0.5 plus J 0 0.25. Hmm? And what is the uh, ZS? In the first part, we are given that ZS is purely reactive. So, RS is equal to 0. This is equal to 0. And hence, this becomes J into axis into 1.0 angle of 0 divided by 0 0.5 plus J 0 0.5, that's 0 0.25, not 5. This is 0 0.25 here. Two five, and you also know J X, so X is nothing but J zero point two five into one divided by zero point five plus J zero point two five. Solve this, we will get this comes out to be zero point four four seven two angle of sixty three. Point four three degree per unit. Okay, so what is BF? BF is therefore zero point four four seven two sixty three point four three, which we can write in terms of the time domain. In time domain, this translates to small vf function of t equal to root 2 into 0 0.4472 into sine omega t plus 63.43. Okay, this is the value of dvr voltage. To maintain 1.0 angle of 0 or to maintain VL root 2 into 1.0 into sine 
omega t and bs is also equal to root 2 into 1.0 into sin omega t well you may think that since the load voltage and source voltage have same magnitude and no phase shift you can see the phi is zero here in this case there is no phase angle so basically what i'm saying that bl phasor is same as bs phasor if this is the situation do you think the power will flow from the source to the load because we have the voltage which have same magnitude and same phase angle the power will still flow because there is a vf so you can think like this that bs plus bf may look like an equivalent voltage source bs dash and this may have some phase shift okay it may have some magnitude which is different from 1.0 and it may have some angle theta s so basically the power is flowing from this source to the load this effective source to the load since there is some phase angle between these two and therefore power flows from the source to the load so here one point uh, same phase angle and magnitude does not mean that power does not flow because there is a effective source due to the presence of the feeder uh, filter voltage okay and with this we can again calculate that for this particular case what is the current here in the system so current is il equal to bl by zl so you know that bl is 1.0 0 and z and zl is zl actually so zl is equal to Zero point five plus j zero point two five zero point five plus j zero point two five and this current becomes as one point seven eight eight nine angle of minus twenty six point five six degree per minute. This is I L. okay so we have this is new current for the given voltage as bl is equal to 1.0 angle of 0 and this is the dvr voltage for this parameter that need to be that need to be injected in series with the load you may ask the whether it consumes any real power okay the real power will be zero because the angle between the vf and i l is 90 degree this we can look even when you are here you can see it here this whole thing is this whole thing is i l okay so this i l into j axis indicates that the voltage is 90 degree with the current and hence this current and this voltage cannot form any real power which means the compensator does not consume any real power it just compensates the voltage by injecting the reactive power clear okay so this is the first case in second case we have considered that what happens 
if the line is purely resistive okay if the line is purely resistive a uh, load is purely resistive not line so load is purely resistive basically that means zl has been taken as rl which is same as 0.5 per unit okay again find the feasibility of the dvr voltage now since zl is equal to rl which means the axle is equal to 0 okay and if we do so again we find out bf so bf is nothing but rs plus j axis into i l and i l is nothing but b l by r l because pure resistive load, uh, load this into r s plus j x s this is b f and this again means that you have r s into b l by r l plus j axis into il or you can say bl by rl which is nothing but current kind of a is basically current so this is the current and there are two components of the bf so what do we see that there are two components of this voltage one is the real part and the another is the imaginary part okay and real part real part in the sense that as compared to current so this is current basically i l so basically i can write r s also into i l and this is j axis into i l sorry j axis into i l this is vf now you see that this component and this component you can see that this component is causing the real power loss because this component says that vf has a component in phase with il in phase with il now if you have a voltage in phase with il that we are injecting it will cause the real power losses in the system this is okay because this is a phase quadrature component so we have a component in phase quadrature with current like j j is there because of j it is a 90 degree phase shift while this is in 0 degree phase shift and this will cause the real power loss So what do we conclude from this? From this we conclude that if we want BL equal to BS without any real power loss, in that case the load cannot be purely a resistive network it has to has some reactive part that has to be compensated by the compensator if this is perfectly purely a uh, real part then it is not possible to compensate this voltage to 1.0 per unit without the exchange of the real power real power is being involved when we want to maintain BL same as BS with purely 
रजिस्टिव लोड ओके इन दैट केस रियल पावर इज बींग इन्वॉल्व रियल पावर इज इन्वॉल्व विच इज नॉट द पर्पज ऑफ एनी कंपनसेटर हेंस दिस रेस्ट्रिक्शन हैज टू बी रिमूव्ड एंड वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास दैट दिस रेस्ट्रिक्शन इज बींग रिमूव्ड बाई putting a condition that b need not to maintain the same phase angle as bs rather we are we can maintain the only amplitude of the load voltage same as the source voltage if we relax this condition there is a possibility that even when b have a purely resistive load uh, there is a possibility that we can compensate the load voltage with the help of the dvr okay well just the draw the figure diagram then i will complete this in first a part if you look where we have taken a purely reactive impedance of the feeder the feeder diagram is like this in the first part without compensation we have a bs which is 1.0 per unit so this is the bs and we have il which is making angle of 45 degree so this is il 45 degrees here then we have a bl now what is bl bl is bs minus the drop so this bs minus a drop but nothing but minus j access into il okay minus j access into il il we, we have found out so this is perpendicular to this so drop will come like this here somewhere this is this component Minus J X, and then you join them. This becomes B L. And if you remember, B L was zero point seven nine, and angle was minus eighteen point eight degree. This angle. If we compensate this. then bl becomes same as ps so what is the new diagram is like this that b have a bs which is same as bl 1.0 angle of 0 and current we found is 1.8 something and angle was this is i l angle was minus 26.56 degree then b added bf okay because bs plus bf becomes some angle all right and bf we have found out if you remember is j x l j x s into i l so this is i l and j means 90 to this so this is actually i can draw a line and 90 to this becomes somewhere here so this is kind of a j x s i l if you join them together it becomes bs dash effective source voltage is called bs dash what is bs dash is bs plus bf okay so basically what is being done that we are compensating this voltage 
by injecting Bf equal to minus Bf equal to minus J axis into I L. So that these two get cancelled and hence we are getting B S is equal to B L. Okay. And in second case, when we are we having the purely reactive uh, resistive load, for that this is the value of B L. So this is the actually B L. Now since the load is resistive, the current will be in phase with BL, so this is IL, ok. The drop will be IRS, so this is IRS, and then J axis IL, and this causes BS. Okay, this is Bs. So you see it here that in this particular case when there is resistive load, it is not possible to compensate without the supplying the active part of the resistive drop that is IL into RS. So you have to compensate both components, first this component and then this component. Only then it is possible to maintain BL and BS to be equal to 1.0 per unit. Otherwise this condition is not possible. So this condition is not found true if there is no arrangement for the active power supply is not maintained, is not achieved without the supply of the active power supply. Okay. So this is just a basic understanding of DVR. In the next class we will take more general case of its working scheme, how we can generalize this scheme uh, to explain that what is the requisite conditions of the satisfactory composition of the load and under what conditions it's not possible to compensate the load, uh, the load voltage. Okay, so that I will continue in the next class. I'll stop here.